super excited because I'm doing a tutorial for you using my new favorite palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I love it so much. I got it for Valentine's Day. All the colors are so beautiful. They're really nice neutrals. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. They're so rich and creamy. They go on so nice. They're made with cocoa powder, so they smell like chocolate. It is just, I love it so much. I mentioned it in my recent February favorites video because I've been using it to death ever since I got it. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to create looks with it pretty much every day, but the one I'm wearing right now is by far my favorite one that I've come up with. Um, and I'm actually calling it Cherry Chocolate. Cute, right? I don't know. I love it. I just, everything chocolate, I like to call it Chocolate. I don't know. I guess I'm a weirdo. But I love it. And I'm using a red base in this eyeshadow tutorial. And it's with a product that you wouldn't necessarily think you would use as an eyeshadow base. So you'll see as the tutorial, go, go, as the tutorial goes along exactly what that product is. But I just thought it was cute and kitschy and very appropriate for this tutorial. So um, let's stop wasting time and let's get right into it if you want to see how to get this cherry chocolate and just keep watching. All right, ladies, let's just jump right into it. The first product we're going to take is a bit unconventional. I'm going to use this MAC Lip Liner in Cherry, and we are going to use that as our eyeshadow base. Yes, you heard me correctly, our eyeshadow base. Just place that on your lids and blend it out with your finger. The reason for this is I wanted a nice red toned base for the eyeshadow we're going to put on next. And I just thought this was perfect. I didn't really have any eyeshadow bases that could give me the effect that this lip liner does. So it's a bit unconventional, but it's a good lesson. Never look at your products for just what they are because they can always be something else. Next I'm taking this color called Amaretto from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to split, spray my flat definer brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and we're just going to use this Amaretto color on the lid. It's a beautiful color, it has a bit of a reddish, reddish sort of sheen in it and it's the perfect color to put on top of this lip liner. It's this beautiful deep burgundy shade and put that right in the crease. Use it to blend out the line that we created with the um, lip liner and the amaretto shade and just blend it all the way from inner corner to outer corner just making sure it's nice and even. Fudge, this beautiful deep dark chocolate brown color and use this on your pencil brush to really define your outer V. Take your time and really carve out the outer V and define the shape of your eye. Trusty Transition Shade. In this palette, it is called Salted Caramel. It's this really pretty, warm, neutral, tan color. And we're going to take that on a big, fluffy crease brush and just take it back and forth, inner corner to outer corner, right in the crease, blend out everything so there's no harsh lines. Now going 
back to the cherry cordial color. I'm just taking that on another fluffy crease brush and we're just going to use that to further blend out and intensify the color in the crease. taking the color white chocolate on a flat brush we're just going to use this to highlight our brow bone baby brush I'm mixing the colors marzipan and creme brulee and I'm just using these to highlight the inner corner of my eyes to use the eye booster by Physicians Formula and it's just a felt tip eyeliner with this really fine point it really makes it for a very easy winged eyeliner application so I'm just gonna do a smaller wing and I'm just going to start it at the center of my lid not bringing it all the way in the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I just got this recently and I've been really really liking it for lining my waterline. I'm going to be using these Kiss Lashes in the style Flirty. I did this off camera to save time but this is my first time using this brand of eyelashes and I really really loved them. They're very soft and natural. So here um, as my base I'm just using the Lorac CC Cream in Tan and then for my foundation I'm using the MAC Studio Sculpt. I believe it's NC35 and I'm just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. First I'm taking the brightening shade and just using that to conceal um, my dark circles under my eyes, then blending that out. And then I'm going to go back in with the color Fair and then conceal under my eyes the full, I'm just going to do two triangles right under my eyes to sort of conceal and highlight. And then I'm going to also highlight down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. powder in well rested and I just want to set my under eye concealer right away right after I'm done blending it out so it doesn't have any time to crease color brown and I'm just going to smudge this on my lower lash line not my waterline but right on my lower lashes now 
now going back to the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I'm going to take that cherry cordial color again on a flat sort of definer brush, and I'm just going to use that shadow to blend out the eyeliner on my bottom lash line. I really just want to kind of smoke it out um, and sort of make it blend with the top of the eyeshadow look to, just to make everything more cohesive. And then I'm going to take that triple fudge color on that same definer brush and I'm just going to blend that on the outer third of the lower lash line just to sort of deepen up the look on those outer corners. A new favorite of mine, the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I'm just going to put this on my lower lashes and also use it to blend the false lashes with my real lashes. This mascara, I just recently put it in my February favorites video. I just got it and I am so in love with it. It's definitely um, becoming one of my absolute favorite mascaras of all time. Next, taking my Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer in Rich Bronze. This was also in my February Favorites video. I'll actually link that down below so you guys can check it out. But I'm just going to use this cream bronzer on my Sigma tapered brush and bronze and contour my face. taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Exposed. I love this blush to death. It's such a nice natural color. I love the way it looks on the cheeks. Definitely give it a try if you've never tried it. Taking my Stila Highlighting Duo in Kitten and I'm taking the more golden side, the right side of the duo, and I'm just using that to highlight the points where my face would naturally um, be highlighted. The tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and the cupid's bow. Keep everything fairly natural because the eyes are so bold with such deep colors. So I took this Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in the color Warm Me Up. This has been a long time favorite of mine. It's definitely a My Lips But Better sort of a color. And then I'm going to top that off with this Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Sophia. I recently got this as a freebie um, from Sephora because I'm a VIB and I really like the color a lot. Um, then blend everything out with a kabuki brush, make sure it's all nice and even, and give yourself a spray of finishing spray so everything stays in place. And that is the finished look. that does it for my cherry chocolate tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love this look so much. I encourage you to try it at home. Please like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for a new video at least once a week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.